increase in population globally and how we are not concerned about the kind of environment that we're trying to build, this would be a big problem in the future and further damage and stress our ecosystem. Another thing is global, uh, global environmental issue. All this deforestation and all of this is a major problem and that is why we have to be concerned about the next location that we're going to be in the future. Also, uh, one of the social uh, projects that we're doing with the Future City concept is a Lazarus project. 1% uh, of the proceeds from this Future City project will go into a project that we call Lagunix, uh, reinventing the Mapo community, uh, rebuilding their floating homes and making it sustainable, uh, and uh, sustainable environment, and finding a way that we can improve the life of people living in this environment. And these are social uh, these are social commitments to uh, to the to the Latinx project, most especially, and some other social initiatives that are going to come up with before the end of the project. So imagine, imagine what the future looks like. There are, there's, a, there's a lot of things. I know that it, uh, a lot of people don't care about these things now, but in the next 10 years, it's going to be a very big issue, and we all need to be a little bit about it. And you just have to reimagine how you want to live in the future. It's not about, it's not just about concrete environments. It's not just about having places where, you know, right now, choking spaces, no air to breathe, no trees, all of these things pose a major problem to how we currently live. And we have to imagine a future, and uh, I mean, we are trying to give you a glimpse of that. Also, uh, one of the key future city drivers are clean energy. And this is all about renewable, uh, renewable uh, transportation, electric vehicles, scooters, and all of that. For people to move smart living, where with the use of AI, artificial intelligence, uh, you can do more rather than just uh, rather than what we have right now. Technology also, sustainable infrastructure enhanced by technology, how technology is changing our environment. Just imagine what technology is doing now and what technology can still do. Uh, instead of us building horizontally, we have to be more concerned about vertical development so that we can save enough space for nature and for green. Vertical farms and all of that, that is the future. Also, uh, future, uh, future city food resources. So these are areas that we're concerned about. Uh, about 30% of the total land mass of the earth is currently committed to soy-based agriculture. And uh, future steep food will have to come from high efficient and high automated process. And this is seen all over the world right now. How people are trying to conserve space uh, and still achieve more with less. And uh, inclusion of vertical farms and all of that. And within the Isimi Lagos project, we have what we call the Isimi farm that will keep up as well. Uh, also, future city waste management. Waste is a very big issue all over the world, and a lot of people are now redesigning how to maximize waste for uh, I mean, recycling and all of that, using materials that. Because some of the problems that we even have here is uh, how we manage our waste, because all our waste goes back to the drains, and then this waste flows to the drain and uh, causing major flood all across, especially the Lagos State. And and this is still going to be a big problem if we are not really concerned about it. So, future city waste management, there's a lot of processes in place to ensure that everything is completely, uh, everything is completely recycled, about our waste waste, uh, waste system and how we convert that back to water to also work the drinks and all of that. All these are concepts in the future city. Future city transportation as well, electric vehicles and because uh, people are trying to reduce the rate of emission in all developed countries now. They're trying to reduce the uh, emission rates. You see now for car loans, they, uh, some companies don't give car loans again. You cannot buy electric vehicles. There are some areas that you can't go into without, uh, without electric uh, vehicles and all of that. And this is one of the ways to reduce the current problem we have. And also, the way we move around, generally, not every time you have to put a car on the road, 
all of these are basically based on design and, and, and it's how we are being intentional as to how we create the future environment that we live in. Also, uh, one of the key, uh, you know, sometimes in Lagos State we have about over 40% of uh, banks on the road, they are doing the business and all of that. And that will change in the future the way uh, goods, and, uh, goods and services are being delivered to most of the products within and around uh, all big logistic companies like FedEx, DHL and all of that. They are rethinking how they, how they run their logistics operation right now and machine is really going to do that for us better in the future. And uh, future city people, most of it, uh, emphasis on safety. Safety is very key, security is very, very important, and these are areas that 